New research suggests that mega doses of vitamin B3 may be able to help our bodies to fight some of the world's deadliest bacteria or superbugs. In our clinical experience, it's not just bacteria. It helps with viruses, it helps with parasites, and it helps with fungus and candida. Now, when given in doses far higher than found in the normal diet, scientists say that the common nutritional supplement, vitamin B3, boosts the immune system by as much as 1,000% and can kill life-threatening infections like methylene-resistant Staphylococcus aureus, or what they call as MRSA. Hi, this is Dr. Jason West, and I post about real people, conditions, treatments, and patient success stories. Please like and subscribe, and just as important, please tag someone that needs this information. So many health problems are related to infection. It can mimic neurodegenerative, neurobehavior, autoimmune, fatiguing illness, and now you have an additional weapon. The US public health officials report that more Americans now die from MRSA each year than from AIDS. And in 2005, more than 18,000 deaths were attributed to MRSA. About 16,000 people in the United States died from AIDS last year. Now, George Liu, a specialist in infection at Cedar sinai Medical Center in Los Angeles, led a team investigating vitamin B3's potential to kill superbug both in mice and in samples of human blood. The researchers found very high doses of vitamin B3 stimulated gene involved in production of specialized immune cells called neutrophils. These cells destroy and sweep away harmful bacteria, boosting the immune system response to staph and MRSA by anywhere from 100 to 1,000 percent. Dr. Liu explained that the megadoses of B3 known scientifically as nicotinamide did not kill the pathogens directly, and this is the most important and exciting part. What it does is it hits the white blood cells in our body and makes them much more potent so that the white blood cells can come about and kill the bad guys and the MRSA. Researchers discovered that vitamin B3's potential to fight superbugs by studying a group of people with a muted copy of the neutrophil gene who suffered from severe chronic infections. Now, if you're healthy and wanting to stay that way, your best source of vitamins and minerals is your knife and fork. Specifically for vitamin B3, chicken, liver, tuna, turkey, salmon, grass-fed beef, peanuts, green peas, sweet potatoes, and brown rice are all sources. Now, when you're sick, you need to call in the cavalry, which is higher doses of vitamin B3, vitamin C, and vitamin D3. This is where so many people lose their way. Like many things, you get what you pay for, and sometimes people are trying to go in and getting a discounted or cheap vitamin, guess what? You don't get the best clinical outcomes. Now, the ultimate way to get vitamin B3 is an infusion therapy, but this is not the only way to get it into your system. It's really just for sick people. Now, personally, I like to do vitamin B3 infusions every month. I just want to be as healthy as possible, so I do some preventative medicine. Now, at this point, there's no evidence suggesting that vitamin B3 causes side effects. But the proper doses of oral, IV, intramuscular, or dosages associated with acute or chronic illnesses should be directed by a healthcare provider trained and experienced in advanced clinical nutrition. Now at our office, we use both injectable B vitamins and oral B vitamins. And the B vitamins that we like orally are from sources that I know and trust, and I like the clinical outcomes that we provide. Now with vitamin suppilation, find a good quality brand and use them and stay away from cheap and discounted products. In my experience, there's a reason why they're cheap. It's because they usually don't work. Now, you can get vitamin B3 at the health store. If you want a done-for-you B3, please call 208-232-3216, extension 108. Or you can just drop us an email at info at West Clinic Online, and in the subject line, just write Superbug. So that's a quick summary of vitamin B3 so that you can beat your disease. I love niacin. Now, typically niacin makes you flush, and a derivative of that niacinamide does not. It's better to have the niacin. I mean, one example is that niacin helps with cholesterol, while niacinamide does not. You can make niacinamide in your body from niacin. You just want a little bit of a flush. I'm Dr. Jason West. I post about real people, science, treatments, and patient success stories. Don't forget to like, share, and tag. You're not your diagnosis. I'll see you guys on the next video.